we're gathered here today in this place, hardly to be close to walls, because Shri was a true and avid surfer. Surf is fucking firing. Fucking firing. <laughs> Surf twice today. Anyway, uh, I called you. I missed your call. I was surfing. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye. To be inspired by a love and a life so well lived. To stand together with our hearts open and an alert, awakened awareness in order to serve Aloha for our soul suffer for sure. I know there's a lot of sadness, but hey, it was free, you know. I mean, he made he made all of us happy. I think in my heart, I just want to be a little bit more like him, even if just for a couple of minutes. Uh, Billabong get AI forever and uh, what is it, Quicksilver get Eddie would go. So why don't we just be like Sri? <laughs> Thank you. This is hard. He's gone and, 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 it's, and it's, it's death. You know, how do we deal with that? So who we are, our true self, is the same as Sri. It always existed, and it never dies. Who Shri is, was way before his body, and it's always going to be there for eternity. Namaste means I salute the divine in you, and that's something that Sri Shim did in every encounter that he had, whether it was with his friends living in tents down the street or some fancy banker in a suit. He always acknowledged the divine in everyone that he encountered. He's like, okay, you know, he can convince you to do anything. So we would paddle out with him, and before you know it, we're caught inside on the biggest set of the day, and bail the board, take off the leash, bail the board, because I cannot breathe. And I come up and I look for him, and I come up, and as soon as I could get a breath to scream, I would yell at him, Dad! Dad! And he would be sitting in the channel laughing at us. <laughs> and every time, every time, we would be pissed off and we'd be like, couldn't you just like help us? No, never helped us. And all of those times the dad sat in the channel and and told us, no, I'm there. I feel you feel me. You feel me. I'm not saving you, but you can feel me and you're gonna get through it. He knew. And that was preparation for this, you know. At 59 years old, he beat us all to the finish line. Even his 91 year old mother. Just like how he would if we were racing in traffic without us knowing. <laughs> I'm certain that he's waiting for us. And when he sees us again, I'm sure that he's going to be cheering us like he has won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Thank you. He was a real man. He wasn't a man. You know, he, he was a man, a funny, flawed, short, <laughs> triple chin, I can go on, man. But um, sometimes I think he was so busy loving other people that he forgot to love himself a little bit. And he loved to love himself, like things to make him feel good. But I really don't think that he knew how great of a man he 